It's a heat wave Friday. My assistant is here. She's doing all the dirty work. I've got this beverage, which is really nice. So, this is the wall, this is the underside. This, I thought that's worse there because of the door. But this, man, that's wood. That used to be wood. So, we need to do all of this. That's wood. So I'm gonna replace this and that and that. And then put the wall in. Shit. Never ending. This is. These X's mark holes. So all these holes only to fill up. It's funny because aluminum doesn't rust, but it kind of eats itself. I don't get it. Now, this is the downside of this caravan. Um, it's the downside, <laughs> literally and figuratively. Um, you see all this stuff here? That's wrecked. And then this used to be connected to like a U-shaped channel here. Uh, I don't know why they did this. But if I'm going to keep this U-shape, I'm gonna drill holes so water goes out. Like the wood that was here was soaking, soaking wet. Like soaking wet. Because the U channel kept the, the, you know, the humidity in, kept the water in. I don't get that. So for all you guys that will buy a caravan, an old caravan, expect this kind of stuff to happen. This is the same as there, really. Uh, I actually, I, I did take this off and I didn't take it off from there, which I will do in a bit. But this is going to be repetitive, so nothing new is here. I just changed the plank from the inside, that one there. I'm having these as spacers because the wall is going to be there in a bit, right? Now I do have some guests and it's super warm outside and the pool is heated, so... Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Put some clamps in here to press this in. Put a piece of wood on the other side, let it set. And then tomorrow probably uh, change this bit and that bit and put the wall in, finally. I think I need to add one plank here for some shelves on top of the kitchen unit. There'll be some shelves here. This is my crew member at work, hard at work. I've completed this wall, well, half of it now. There's still some wobbliness here, but I'm afraid that's, it is what it is. Um, I have to change that bit up there and another one down there. And then attempt to do the the top bit also. Another thing I did, <sighs> I took great care in cutting this. This is my template for the window on the other side because it's the same size window. And this is my template for the wheel roughly. So I know the curvature of the wheel. This here, I'm not really proud of that. Maybe I can amend that in the template. But it's close enough. This is gonna be the kitchenette unit. You won't be able to see it. It's all right. So it's been a week since I worked on the caravan, and because um, I had to do some work. Uh, but one thing I did in this garage is organize everything, because it was a mess last time. Um, kitchenette unit. This this is the floor panels. Uh, arranged everything in here, that's electrical, that's hoses and some wires uh, toilet, the new toilet the new fridge which is bigger the boiler 
Yeah, it's, there's more space now. I can't work if the space is not organized. I'm one of those. Uh, another thing that I managed to do is fix this leather. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin gave me this leather. Uh, because they were painting on it, right? And the paint went inside here. And it became impossible to open and close. But I managed to fix it in the end. And I'm really happy about that. These are quite expensive leathers and they're really handy. This fits in my car as it is. You don't have to put it on the roof and stuff and it's like 3.8 meters long. This is the same length and this is an A-frame one. I need to fix this. This mechanism is broken. So as progress, we got this done. All of this wall. And Paulina helped me and she took off all this wood from here, which is great. I still need to take off this side here under this. And then replace this, replace that, put the wall back. This is similar to that, what I did there and there, so I'm not gonna film too much about this. Because uh, I don't see the point. It's the same process. Take these screws off. Take the outside screws off. See if I can keep this. If not, take it off. Uh, take this wood off. Clean it. Glue. Measure the wood, the new wood. Put it back in. Screw it in. So it's it's the same. The same I'll do the, on that side. Although that wood there is really strong. So I'm just going to... Maybe I'll leave that one as it is. I don't know for sure yet. Right, I went to the wood shop and got this to fix that, the bottom of it. And also to fix the inside wall, the wheel arch right there. Now, I've got an idea to get some transparent plastic sheet and trace the shape of the wheel and then with that tracing cut my new shape. The problem we had last time was that I could not remove that piece of wood right there. So if that's going to be the case, I might just leave it up. Hmm. Right, this thing four screws here, one, two, three, four, and then it's stapled, of course, to this aluminum back. So, I think a little, a gentle tap It's gonna sort that out. Not really intact now, is it? Right here. This, I took it, I washed it. It's all clean now. <coughs> My plan is to put the wood underneath, trace it like that, and cut it. Just finished restoring this. I gave it some paint here because it's, uh, it's supposed to be more moisture resistant plywood, but yeah. Um, gave it some paint on the inside also. I had some underbody paint for the car, so I'm guessing this should be good enough. That's how it is. This will be painted some time soon. Um, just not now. One and a half months later, after our trip to Poland, um, I did some work in like two days, one day. I ran all the pipes. So the yellow stuff is water, the orange stuff is gas. Now the yellow and orange they all go in front to this box here where there's gonna be one of those sitting and the water bottle. Um, I've run the 13 pole wire for the new plug. This one goes to the back and it's for the 16 amp socket that's there uh, now let me explain there's three of these 
hose is here. So this caravan will have a water bottle in the front and a water connection, auxiliary water connection on the back. So how I thought about it, this has a this has a valve here that you can open and close. So when the pump's running and when the water is coming from in front, I could just close that and have one feed. This Y splitter here is the water bottle from the front. This is that the auxiliary connection from the back. Now this goes to the pump, water intake to the pump. From the pump there's this one that goes to the boiler. So the circuit is that pump, this goes to the boiler. From the boiler, which is pressure activated, and fingers crossed that pump is going to be able to activate the pressure sensor on the boiler. From the boiler, hot water comes in to the kitchen sink. Hot water from boiler, I mark the direction so I know. Alright, so that's for the kitchen sink. There is another Y splitter here because there will be a shower head. So, hot from the boiler, sink, shower, right? And then these two, this is the shower hose. And these two are marked from sink, hot water, from sink plus shower. And then cold intake to the boiler. These pipes will be run like that, like so, somewhere behind the toilet, in this hollow bit, probably. And then I'll mask this somehow with like some cable trunking or something. Or just, you know, I don't know. The boiler is going to sit here, the toilet's going to be here. The shower we do not have yet. So, I only have a shower tray which is broken, so I'm still thinking about that. But, the good thing is, I've got the first floor panel in. The bad thing is, this wall here was warped from the start. And, to show you how warped it is, it's pretty warped. So, I've marked here some lines and I'm going to just cut this fucking thing and put one of these underneath and staple it so this way it's going to make the wall straight the problem is it's warped like that so I'll have to cut here also to let it go down and sit by itself to be straight um, the thing is the couch is going to be here, this is going to be a box, so if I cut under the box, it should be alright. <sighs> Let's begin. This is the point of no return, the minute I open this. Now, worst comes to worst, I'm just going to have to replace the whole bit, which I don't want to do, but if I have to, I will. That's going to send me back again. Yeah. There it is. I do not understand why the fuck did it warp. But it's straight there, straight there. I don't know. So I've cut this along there. Which is good because the dump from down is not going to go and fuck it up. And what I can do is just do that. Bam bam. And have like a, a transition between the floor and this. Then dig this shit off. And insert said plank here. Like that. I don't know how to do it here with some glue and some stuff. But this is going to be here like that. Alright, so to do that curvature right there, 
I had an idea. What if I just uh, take the wheel out and follow the inside of the curvature? Meaning, if you take the wheel out, right? And then you take a piece of scrap. Make sure this is where it's supposed to be. There, like that. Put the scrap piece here. Right. And on the inside, just trace the curvature with a with a marker. Now, obviously, this is on the inside of the thing. The outside should be, you know, bigger. But I think this is the most accurate method, really. If my shit was right, this should fit. If my uh, judgment was intact, this should fit in here. And it kind of does, but I need to cut this piece here. What do you know? It's fucking on point, my friend. Mark it on the plank, cut it. Oh, and maybe in this lifetime I'll have that wall done. Fucking hell. So much work. Here we are, two days later. It's raining. Uh, uh, <clears throat> where was I? The, blah, 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 blah. the gas hose came with the wire splitter, so I'm installing it now. This hose will go to the kitchen unit, to the hub, and this one will go to the boiler unit. The fridge also uses gas, but I don't want to use that. Um, that just complicates things, plus I have a solar panel and batteries, so technically forever energy so the fridge will run mostly on on 12 volts and I did it Bang. using my taking away the wheel method and tracing it on the outside this is the result and these fit pretty good in there now I need to put some some wood glue between these and some screws like that and then fix this thing in there alright so this is finally happening the whole floor is gonna go in so like I said this comes from the gas bottle alright this goes to the boiler Alright, and this is gas hose. Alright, all these hoses go into place via that hole. Okay, this goes to the boiler, and now I can bring the floor in. I'll have to make some holes, probably there, and three holes here, or one big hole here, to get all these holes in. There it is, the floor is in now, I need to screw it, make a hole for the hoses here, make one hole in the corner for the shower holes there, and put the shower thingy again and make a hole for the drain or leave the drain till later until I know I can fix that shower tray <laughs> in the meantime I could do this wall now and decide if I'm covering the window or not there we go the screws are in this is uh, stronger. I'm just gonna make use of the 
the excess glue to cover all these holes. This is how it looks on the inside. The screws are a bit longer, but I'm gonna bring an angle grinder and cut them. It's definitely stronger now. So this is the moment that I think I don't think I'm gonna ever live. <laughs> uh, this is almost in here. So what I've done was added these beams down there, added those two beams there, added that, added this, and added that. Of course, glued them and everything. Now, from last time, I kind of made a template of that side, so that was, that gave me two hours extra in my life. Oh man, I swear to God. Um, because I was able to roughly trace the other side on it, chop this until it fits and then use this as a template for the big piece. The other thing was, uh, after I made this piece here, I had this template, so this was way faster. And all I need to do now is cut this like that, and then put the glue in, staple it, and that's this wall down, I mean that section. Next I'll do the other section, which from here I have another template. Hey, it's done. Well, almost, because I ran out of staples. Typical. But it's in here. The glue is in there. I need to put some tiny screws in here. And maybe cut the window. Alright, so it's done. This is a new day, so I've put this on. Woo! It's uh, nice. I need to cut the window now. I did use this template, which was okay-ish. I did have to modify it a bit. This ended up way better than that one, which that one sucks. Old, but it's alright. Okay, this wall is strong. Yeah, man. Right, here we are when the day is over. This wall is complete. Well, apart from this part. That is complete, which I'm super happy about. This one is here, like that. How I did it was I did not cut this. This is a full sheet. So that's 1.2 meters or something. And I've just stuck and stapled this here and laid it on top of this one that was already on the bottom. This way I have this nice seam. Also, because of the pressure, this one keeps this one here, which is quite nice. When I'll make the bed, this is gonna go a bit more like that, here and here. So that's quite sweet. Um, in addition, I think I decided this window, because it's broken and blah blah blah, and here there'll be a shower cabin, this window is gonna go. I'll just block it off, put some polystyrene on the here, and then something on top, I don't know what, maybe vinyl or something. Here we are a couple of days later. A lot has happened, as you can see, in a couple of days. Um, I was looking for shower boxes, and they were extremely expensive, and I kind of dropped it. I was like, yeah, fuck it, I'll build myself one. But then, doing all the shelves and the soap recess and the toothbrush things, and uh, you know, uh, it became a bit of a hassle to me to make them waterproof because I've seen a lot of people doing shelf recesses and uh, in my idea they were not really too waterproof so I went online as you do when you get up in the morning and it's too early and I found this thing 
Initially it was for zero ninety nine starting um, starting from eBay, and I built I bid randomly like thirty something pounds on it. I was like, if I win it, yeah. If not, fuck it. You know. So long story short, I won it for sixteen pounds. This is amazing for two reasons. It's got the little sink here, and with the baby, this. Should, ah, this should be really useful and check me out the little sink thing becomes a shower which is super duper cool another thing why it's super duper cool is because it's got all these uh, all these shelves and blah 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 but you can't look you can't hear it but this is a pump switch when you turn the water on pump goes on which is amazing it only has a switch on the uh, cold water for some reason but I might be able to move it to the hot water because this is really where I want the switch to be uh, yeah this is a tiny bit bigger 10 centimeters bigger than this but that's okay because I could just build like a, a uh, like a wall here or something and I don't know that this shouldn't be hard to do so that thing goes on top of here and what I'll have to do is put another plank somewhere here for this screw this line and that line of screws over there right this window is going to be covered so bye bye window it was broken anyway so that's fine uh, yeah I've decided to ship the toilet and uh, to make it like a shower bathroom box to save some space this always pissed me off because one as you went in you're straight with your nose in the toilet which is kind of shitty two building a curtain here that goes halfway in the door mm, no and also if you want to take a dump or whatever do your thing and somebody opens the door they kind of see you, so that's shit. Uh, so that's how it's gonna be here, like that. This is the shower box. Bang, bang. You go in, take a shower, wash things, take a dump, whatever you gotta do. Um, this window, I would want to leave it. If you have a wall there, you have a straight wall here like that so the wall is gonna be from here to whatever you know I think I can make that like a shower like a, a thingy here we can store something down here or I don't know yet but if the wall is gonna be straight you know there's still some space here for wires or like a mop or something like that <coughs> yeah and here I'll just make a little shelf to go like that and this window is gonna be shared between the hmm I'll have to think about that that window definitely goes this window I don't know yet yeah this is it um, another thing I did was, because this is outwards, I've seen a lot of people do this, you're supposed to <coughs> pack it with some wood here, so it doesn't break when you stand on it. So what I did was, I took some plywood, such as this one, and roughly traced the, the contour of this. This is my template, so I'm just gonna... I have some 6mm plywood, I'm just gonna cut the shape off of 6mm plywood put it in here, bolt it in and then I can just stick this shower to the floor and that's that uh, another thing that I will need to do, my initial hose was there because I had in my thinking I had the shower somewhere there but now the shower is gonna be here my water connections are here so I'm just gonna run the holes like that under the floor and then push it up here. 
Another thing that I will have to do is because that has a co uh, cold and hot water tap taps, I'll have to Y split the cold water from here and drive another hose to have two hoses there, one for hot, one for cold. That's it really, the hole for the toilet is going to be on this side now. That's not bad. Yep, it's winter time so I'm losing daylight so I'm just going to rush this thing to get it done.